Hello and welcome. I am Suntai Dippin' Chew Guy and this is a Chew Review. I believe it is the 12th Chew Review. We will be taking a look, as you just saw, at a rather classic product, one that has been around for a very long time and somewhat irritatingly one that I cannot obtain too much information for uh, because it is something that has switched hands. Uh, the name has been taken on by other entities. Uh, so thus you have chewing tobacco, you have baby food, uh, they're not interconnected. Beech Nut is made by, or should I say, distributed by the National Tobacco Company of Louisville, Kentucky, the people that make Stokers. I'm saying distributed by because although it does have a National Tobacco Company branding there, above it, it says distributed by national tobacco i'm not quite sure why they're feeling the need to point out that they are distributing it that said let's take a look at the packaging it is your fairly standard three ounce net weight bag of chewing tobacco you have the fold over above the words an american there is a date code pressed into the packaging. I do not know what it means, nor can I read the entirety of it out because it seems to have gotten flattened at some point along the line. Both sides of the package are basically the same. Okay. Underneath... You have the barcode, company branding, 1-800 number. And right there, it is letting you know that the product is at least 56% domestic tobacco and at least 44% foreign tobacco. It's a chewing tobacco. For whatever reason, foreign leaf is something that is needed to make it. To make it better I guess uh, so it's not the best content numbers when it comes to foreign domestic but it's definitely not the worst either so what we're going to do here is we are going to flip over the leaf this does have a ziplock it's going to have one two three one to six dots, which is pretty standard for a product that has a Ziploc in it. All right, I'm going to open it up here. Underneath those dots, you will have the Ziploc. All right, I'll try to get a little light on there. It is fairly dark with some blonde highlights. There is definite contrast in the product. Not necessarily a bad thing. Smell off the bag. It is a original backslash regular chew. Uh, yes, it has a smell of raisins. Not a bad smell. I like the smell. You know, some people don't. Uh, it is a little bit tacky to the touch. I wouldn't say it is overly sticky, although it is leaving a visible resin on the hands. Okay, so just give me a shot there. That's what you're looking at. All right. Oh, is it a little bit? It is definitely leaving a clearish, tacky resin on the fingers. I have had this product before. I'm going to put in a chew and then I'm going to hit the pause button. Back in a minute. Yep. 
Okay, <laughs> take two, back in a minute. And I am back. Okay, so if you go to my channel's homepage and click on playlists, the playlists come up, okay? Playlists on this channel are important. This is an example of as why, because I'm about to reference something. Of the playlists, once you click on playlists and go to them, there is one called Commercials of Old. And in that playlist, it's an entire playlist of old smokeless tobacco, chewing tobacco commercials, dip commercials. In that pet playlist, there is a Beach Nut um, 30 second TV ad from probably somewhere around 1980. And in it, there's two of them. There's one in a wood mill, which is older. It's from the 70s. But the newer of the two, they're in a bar sitting at a table. And the whole thing that they're trying to get across in the advertisement is that beech nut is very balanced flavor-wise. Okay? Doesn't lean too sweet. They were probably taking aim at Levi Garrett. And it doesn't aim real bitter possibly taking aim at red man not quite sure in that part okay but it's very balanced that's that's the message it's a balanced tasting chew and it is the commercial is dead on the problem is it might be a little bit too balanced okay it's very meh it's not bad. It's in fact, it's even good, I'd say. But uh, there's nothing exciting about it, okay? And this stuff in my area is sometimes 25 cents more than a bag of Red Man, okay? And it has considerably less nicotine. All chews have low nicotine, but this stuff doesn't rate well even on that lower scale. So, it's, it's a good product. It's a quality product. The packaging's quality. The Ziploc is good. There's not many stems. The product visually looks good. Packs well. Comfortable in the mouth. No, nothing poking you or anything like that. The flavor's good for an original chew. And it doesn't lean sweet or bitter. But it's almost a little bit too damn the center. It's just... Sort of like, eh, okay. If it was priced at, let's say, a Stoker's Classic price at $5 a bag, I'd be buying these all the time. But it's not. It's like $9 here. So, in my mind, it's a good product. It has a long history because that 1897 that they're referencing there is evidently true which would put this actually being made a couple years before red man went into production red man was the recipe was put together and test batches were done in the 1880s but it wasn't actually put into production until like right after 1900 this actually predates it but you, you can't find much information on it because it diverges from there and it's all over the place believe me i tried so you have a good package with a good seal, okay? You have a good looking product in it. A little bit tacky to the touch, not crazy though. It's good tasting, it just doesn't take any chances, all right? Packs well, comfortable, little or no stems. Smells good off the bag if you like original chew smells. All in all, it's a good product, it's just, it just doesn't take any chances. It's damn straight and narrow, all right? If you can get it at a reasonable price, definitely give it a try. I mean, just so you have the bag to save afterwards. I mean, it is sort of, they're not, they're not exaggerating. It is sort of an American icon in, you know, some ways. This has been the Beech Nut original chew review 
I would like to say hi and thank you to Scott Booth, Ben Case, and just within the last three or four hours, Jacob Speck. Hello and thank you guys. I am the Suit and Tie Dip and Chew Guy. I will be back tomorrow night with Beach Nuts Winter Green, which I do not have any experience with. Do take care of yourselves, and as always, God bless.